entertainment reporter Joyce Colhayrick reviews Buried Child. This is a Pulitzer Prize winning play by Sam Shepard. It was performed tonight at the Alley Theater in Inman Square. This play is extraordinary, bleak, and powerful. Tonight's production was very competent. As directed by Robert DeVoe, it leaves us with some haunting images of a defunct American dream. An Illinois living room hung with the symbols of idealized American life, a Norman Rockwell print, and a portrait of JFK. This is the ironic background for a family disintegrated. Vin, played by Joe Spolino, returns home after six years, but his family doesn't recognize him. His family is Grandfather Dodge, a drunk, suffering from some ill-defined sickness. He has three sons, Tilden, who is slightly deranged, Bradley, who's missing a leg, and another son, who is dead, not a whole man among them. Can't shake certain basic things. You do. You end up crazy here like my husband. You can see how crazy he is. You can see it in his eyes. There are darkly ironic Not comic scenes. Time. Vince's girlfriend, Shelly, played by Donna Azali, uses Bradley's wooden leg like a weapon to keep these strangers at bay. Though the acting is uneven, there are two fine performances. Ed Yopchik is menacingly cruel as Bradley. Gary Kirby is truly outstanding as Dodge. His eyes are eerily vacant, glazed from too much TV and alcohol. A man gone to seed. His presence and performance permeate this production. There's a living soul behind me. Not a one. Who's hoping to be in there, man? Who gives a damn about it? Oh, and around. You can see Buried Child at the Alley Theater right through April 17th, and that's in Inman Square. Okay. Thanks a lot, George. Mm -hmm. Thanks.